rainbows welcome back to my channel i'm jennifer of custom chic and if you're new here let me be the first to welcome you my channel focuses on fashion travel and just overall lifestyle so if that is the kind of content that you are into then i would welcome you to subscribe share like definitely hit that bell notification so you know each time i upload a video and i upload every wednesday and every friday and on today's edition of Flash Fashion Friday. I'm giving you guys five ways, five, one, two, three, four, five, five ways that you can wear blazers for this current fall season and still <laughs> knock the look out of the park. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit real quick and we can get right into the video. Okay guys, so here's my look. I am wearing a simple black sweater, um, sweatshirt that has the word chic written all over it, a pair of Zara high-waisted distress light wash jeans, and then my favorite pair of combat boots from the brand Shoots. Um, super simple look. This is Flash Fashion Friday, so we are trying to be super quick about it. I wanna get to my weekend. I want y'all to get to your weekend. Or if you're watching this on the weekend just chilling, which is cool too. Um, but yeah, so that's my outfit. I put everything down in the description box. These boots I purchased last year. Let me pan down to the boots again. Um, I purchased these boots last year. They come with two different options for the laces. They come with the black option and the burgundy option, which is what I opted for. I have been seeing them around this year um, and they are on sale. I've seen them for less than a hundred, no, not, that's not true, less than $200. So I've seen them for around like 150, one something or another. So I would put everything down in the description box and let's get back to the video. Okay y'all, so um, I wanted to talk about this very quickly and I'm gonna stay panned out a little bit just so that you guys can see. Sometimes the camera does really weird things when I try to move a little bit closer, but I did add these two pins to my sweater. Maybe if I stand, it won't do much. Okay, so it's looking like I'm still in that little box, so I'm okay. I added this, um, this pin actually came with this sweater and it just says Chic Army. I will put all the information for this sweater down in the description box. And then here, I added another little pin that says, um, very high fashion. I thought it was just a cute little something extra to add to the sweater because it's very plain, but I made it my own. I made it what I wanted. So let us get into the video. Like I said, on this edition of Flash Fashion Friday, I'm gonna be giving you guys five, one, two, three, four, five, five little quick tips and tricks on how to wear blazers for the fall season. I know weather's acting a little crazy. Earlier on in the week, I did how to style some shorts for the fashion season. Hopefully you guys check that out if you haven't. I will put it somewhere here in the cards. If not in the cards, then I will go ahead and put it in the description box. But these are just five little ways that I have found to wear blazers in the fall, probably all year round. Maybe not so much spring and summer, but definitely um, during fall. So let us get right into the video. First styling tip that I have for wearing blazers or styling blazers in the fall is wearing them as a dress. I know. You're like, girl, what are you thinking? <laughs> it's probably gonna be too short, but honestly, if you find yourself a very well-made, well-tailored blazer, and it has the length, so think oversized. I mean, I guess oversized doesn't really work with well-tailored, but that's not true. So if you pick up a blazer that has been manufactured well, just think about that, manufactured well, and you put it on and it's not exactly your size, but it still gives you shape and a curve, you can wear that thing as a dress. I would even recommend belting it. I don't necessarily belt the one that I have. This is actually a blazer slash coat that I picked up from Zara years ago, but it has this amazing, amazing detail in the middle. So it reminds me of a little LBD. Everybody loves a little black dress. Well, you know what? In the fall, you can have an LBD. No, what would that be? An LBB, a little black blazer <laughs> that works as a dress. I'm showing it to you guys. Hopefully you guys like it. You're seeing it right now. Um, again, you probably can't do too much movement in here. So if you are someone who is concerned about showing your legs or not super comfortable showing your legs, then I would encourage you to grab a pair of sheer or OPEC tights. Throw those bad boys on, throw on your favorite pair of heels or your favorite pair of boots. You can probably even wear this look with sneakers. Um, and then you will be good to go. Blazers can definitely, definitely double as dresses during the fall. Like I said, this one that I'm wearing, this particular one that I'm wearing is not, um, I, well, I guess I can grab it from here. Um, here it goes. Um, and it's actually probably more so of a peacoat because it's got this cute little like 
um, ribbon deep bow detailing here in the back and like I said it has these button detailing in the front so it just closes it's literally it looks boring and it doesn't look like much on the sleeve but when I put it on and wear it as a dress I feel oh uh, I mean I feel beautiful I mean uh, ugh, can't can't go wrong can't go wrong I love this thing I mean pair it up or make it or dress it up with more accessories a pop of color it could be a pop of color in your shoe option it could be a pop of color in your purse or you can do a complete monochromatic look and just wear all black but trust me any blazer that fits you well enough to double as a dress so think about length think about size think about comfort um depending on where you would be wearing this too especially for um height preferences but definitely comfort level you can probably get something stretchy but that's not well you probably can get a stretchy blazer that will double as a dress but that may be harder to find than it sounds i mean i know stretch materials all over the place but not necessarily so much with blazer so if you do find a blazer that has a lot of stretch material in it in that circumstance i would recommend sizing up to give it the effect that you would want to wear it as a dress just my two cents now tip number two your blazer can be the actual focal piece of your outfit so if you have something that has a little bit more um pizzazz or or scenario going on with the blazer i'm going to show you guys exactly what i'm talking about something like this this is a very busy jacket <laughs> it's a very busy blazer it's got plaid it's got ruffles it's got frill all up and through this so when i get dressed and if i were to wear this i would definitely have this be the focal piece of my outfit this is from the brand jack by bb dakota i purchased this as you guys can see a couple weeks ago from ross it was 15.99 it's a size medium i actually see it looks like it retails for 88 dollars ross dress for less and i ended up getting it i want to say it was the clearance section i was returning a whole bunch of other things and i was just perusing through ross and i found it but this um blazer jacket i love very much it's spring fall to me um, it's got like this yarn stitching, yarn detailing. It reminds me a little bit of herringbone and or houndstooth, just depending on how you look at it. But super cute detailing, faux pockets here. Um, and it looks like they're pockets, but it's actually just the fringe detailing um, going all the way across. The metal is a silver um, hardware, but super cute, size medium. I would probably wear this with a white tee or a black tee, depending on where I was going. Throwing this on with some super skinny jeans, just like the ones I have on I showed you guys earlier. That would totally work. Um, it does have real pockets on the inside. I probably would not use this for too much. Um, I'm showing you guys how I'm styling it, hopefully, as I'm kind of describing it to you. Um, so yeah, this is cute, but it works. Long sleeves, it does have an opening. That's not true. It does not have an opening, so I can't zip it up. But if your blazer or your jacket has a lot of going on, the material is busy. Also reminds me of like this jacket from Walmart that I talked about earlier from my Walmart haul. I would opt to wear something inside that is a little bit more monochromatic or basic. So think your basic white tees. Even if you wanted to wear it with like a graphic tee, just make sure that the dimensions and the sizing of the opposite um, fabric or the opposite pattern are, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Correspond, right? So if I was going to wear a polka dot shirt with this, which I very well could, I could wear a black polka dotted shirt or a white shirt with black polka dots with this jacket, but the polka dots would have to be super, super tiny to make sure that it the, the look goes well together. I've actually done a video back in the summer on Mixing Prints 101. Um, I've got a lot of good feedback from there. So if you are still interested in doing that, or if you are interested in learning how to mix prints properly, then I would suggest watching that video. I will go ahead and put it down in the description box as well. But um, yeah, you can wear this with a graphic tee or you can wear it with a plain white tee. It just kind of depends on your mood and how you're feeling. But definitely you can wear a blazer not only as an option to keep you warm, but it can be the focal point of your outfit. So that is tip number dos, how to style blazers for the fall. Styling tip number three for blazers during the fall, 
you guessed it, wearing it as a set. A lot of pieces, or a lot of pieces in my closet actually that I had that were blazers were part of an entire set, either a pants set, a skirt set, or a short set. And I thought, okay, I don't, I don't have to be going to court I'm a lawyer by trade, um, to actually wear this entire set. It's fall, I am loving all of the cool ord or actually suit sets that come already as is. Especially for fall, I'm liking, loving the darker colors and I'm especially in love with like anything that has a great design detail. I mean, look at this. A friend of mine got married a couple of weeks ago and her husband wore a suit that was similar to this. Granted, I bought this in the women's department. I'm almost positive he bought his in the men's department. But I love this. How much does this scream? Ooh, I can't talk. How much does this scream fall? Let me get closer so that you guys can see it. But like the brocade detail, like the lace detail, the background is actually a blue. And then the black lace is intertwined all up and through this thing. I actually even cuffed the sleeves just because I wanted to give it a little bit of a pizzazz. I didn't want it to look so serious um i can even wear this i can see myself wearing this with a nice pair of sneakers or i can dress it up and wear it with heels i love a good suit set now i'm actually extra happy that i can only that i can not only wear this for my professional setting but i can transition this into a party setting i can see myself wearing this with like a black camisole nice pair of black or any colorful heel to be honest with you just to give it a pop of color um, and some nice jewelry just right there in the middle, probably even that neck piece back there. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I really, really love this. This is unfortunately an old, old, old suit from BCBG Max Azria. Um, the top is a medium and then the bottom is a size, let's see. Hmm. Okay, a size eight, that's still on brand. I was gonna say, don't embarrass yourself out here. Don't go telling somebody the small sizes that you had and then are not even able to fit them. So I absolutely love this suit. Um, like I said, this is a styling tip number three that you can wear for fall. You can wear your entire suits together. Don't worry about, you know, doing too much. This makes me think of like Cher in Clueless. Like she wore an entire suit, obviously it was plaid. I'm dating myself, Clueless is an older movie from some of my younger subbies. You guys probably don't even know what that is. Alicia Silverstone, Stacey Dash, some Brittany Miller? Murphy, Brittany Murphy was in that movie. Um, Wow, I can't believe I just remember the cast off the top of my head like that. But anyway, um, super cute, fun look. This is a little dark. What I'm showing you guys here is dark. Now, if you have a suit, a complete suit that's a brighter color, do not shy away from it just because it's fall. I am of the thought of the school participating in class, getting the A plus, okay, that you can still wear bright colors during fall. It doesn't really matter as long as you're wearing them correctly. And maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a video on that. How to how to transition brights into fall. I mean, because if you think about it, we transition them from winter into spring, so there has to be a way to, for us to transition them from summer to fall. It works. It really does work. So Wearing your suit blazer or your blazer top as an entire suit, style tip number three is how you can rock blazers for fall. Style tip number four, a monochromatic look. Wear your blazers in a monochromatic look. What do I mean by that? Wear this blazer or any color blazer and the rest of your outfit is in that same color family. Now, this is a blush-ish. It's looking a little tan in the camera, but trust me, it is blush. Um, you can do monochromatic looks with black. You can do monochromatic looks with white. Why does it work? It is very, very sophisticated. Anytime that I have seen anyone wearing a monochromatic look, so for same color from head to toe, so it's usually, you know, top, bottom, whether it's a pant, whether it's a skirt, whether it's a pair of shorts, um, t-shirt, blazer, blouse, whatever. The shoes will more than likely be the same color and sometimes if you want to be a little extra, your bag can be the same color too. Um, I've seen tons of great monochromatic looks on Pinterest. I'll probably pop up some pictures so that you guys can see what I mean. Um, I've seen it done in cranberries. I've seen it done in dark blues. I've seen it done in all white and it's it's really perfection when it's done in all white and done well. And also when you have a monochromatic look, you can play with 
sizing that much more. So you can play with sizing, you can play with texture. It just works because it's the same color family, so you don't look really crazy. So if I wanted to wear um, a blush color in a completely different material from this, it doesn't really show and it doesn't really look bad because it's the same color family. Another tidbit, if I didn't know what to wear with this blazer and I wasn't going with the monochromatic look, just look at the inside. Let me see if I can move that up because from here it looks the same. Okay, so maybe here you guys can see this is a little bit more goldish. Um, the lining is a little bit more goldish. It's a little bit more of a salmon color, but in real life, well, in real life, I told you what it just looks like, but when you look at it from the camera, it just looks like it's all this blush material. So if you ever are in doubt of what you wear with something, a new piece that just came in, you're not exactly sure how to match it, look at the inside of the lining, and it's a dead giveaway. It's like secret dressing 101. Like I, when I first found that out, I was like, huh. That's also how I kind of learned how to mix prints because I would look at the inside of a garment and it would be a completely different material, a completely different pattern, and I'm like, Oh, this works well together so that's an extra tidbit that's that's an extra I'm gonna put that in the title because if you if you followed me or if you if you stuck around this long you just got it for free but I'm gonna put it on the title five tips on how to dress a blazer plus one extra tip don't tell anybody have them watch it so monochromatic look is another way that I would suggest wearing blazers for fall it's a totally 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 good look Let's get to the last and final. Tip number five is our last and final, how to wear or how to style blazers for fall 2020. And it is your good old thrifted oversized men's blazer. I cannot say enough about this idea. I cannot say enough about this look because it just transitions so well. Oversized blazer will take you for the long haul for fall. Why? it's oversized right and if you get a men's version then it's more than likely going to be a thicker material so you don't have to really worry about being cold or cool on chillier nights you can throw this over your shoulder or you can actually wear it um this transition so well right now i'm showing it to you guys and i'm really just wearing a tank top and some faux leather pants or faux leather leggings you can wear that with sneakers is which would this is how I'm wearing it right now. Or you can dress it up. This look can be worn so many endless ways. Um, if I had, and I do, but I think I'm gonna show it to you guys as well as I'm talking, is putting on a belt bag. You can totally put on a belt bag to create more of that cinched in look. So that totally works. I love, love, love oversized blazers. Um, because I'm bustier, I talk about this probably every video. And if you're sick of hearing it, you can DM me and we can talk about what we can do about that. <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't know, I got nothing. I don't know what to say, but um, essentially, this can be worn a myriad of different ways. You can even wear this with shorts if you want it to. Um, I can also see this being worn with a slip dress or skirt. And you will be rocking it. I mean, you will get to it. So those are my five tips just to run through them again. You can wear a blazer as a dress for the fall season. You can wear it with a vintage t-shirt or a graphic t-shirt or a plain white or black t-shirt just depending on how busy the pattern of your blazer is. You can wear the entire thing, right? You can wear the entire set together. If you have a skirt set that has a pattern on it, think like like retro 70s, anything that has floral print or anything like that, that's like a co-ord set that we call it now, but it's basically really a suit set. You can wear all of that together. Tip number four is an entire monochromatic look. So that is wearing the same color from head to toe. If you really want to be bold, add your accessories in there with it. Make sure your shoes and your purses or whatever you're going to be carrying is going to be the same color family. And last but not least is an oversized blazer. That is your go-to. You cannot go wrong with those. Like I said, you can throw it on and just wear it over your shoulders, which is like a real Batman, you know, look. It's like, it's super cool. When I do that, I always feel like extra snazzy. I'm always kind of like, yeah, I'm the boss. <laughs> right like you can wear it over your shoulders or 
If it's um, oversized but still has a feminine silhouette to it, like I talked about earlier, that you can also wear with whatever you want. Like there is no wrong way to wear it. So that's all that I have for this Flash Fashion Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. If I missed any and you know of some, please leave something down in the description box or you know, hit me up on Instagram, customs underscore chic and let me know and I can probably do like a part two of this or I can figure out different things to style. If you guys have ideas of what you would like to see styled, also let me know because obviously this is a community. So um, I wanna make sure that I'm always keeping you guys one involved and always you know, getting feedback from you all about what is happening on this channel. So that is all that I have. I will definitely, no, I will see you before Thanksgiving. So um, I'm gonna do something a little special for that. And I cannot wait to see you. If you stuck around this long, I appreciate you so much for watching. Make sure you like, you subscribe, you share, and you definitely hit that bell notification so you know each time I upload a video, which is every Wednesday. And then again today, a Flash Fashion Friday. Bye Zoe, bye Joshua, bye Sonny. Love y'all. Bye-bye.